How do you feel about these uh, shows having such a big impact on whether or not an artist gets there? Well, it kind of blew my mind. I remember thinking like, I mean, but it's 2011 and like you don't know what is going to be your big break ever when you have one anyway. So it's like the chances of it being a TV show, like why not? But I think what's cool is like it was a dance show and I'm not a dancer, like it was just my song. Um, so I think, but I, I think TV was always pretty powerful that way. But I think like today, you know, it wasn't YouTube, it wasn't, you know, it was just like a good old fashioned TV show and people going to their computers and buying. Like I've sold two million singles and like people don't need to buy music anymore. Like why would they buy it? You know, so that totally like freaks me out and blows my mind. Did, do you keep track of sales? Me? No. I only know that I sold two million because I got a plaque. But like, and my record label and managers, they're like numbers and I'm like, la 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 la. Like, I completely stay out of that stuff. Like, I would do it no matter what if nobody was listening. Because in the first month after the show, there were like 100,000 copies sold already, digital copies of, of the right. song. Yeah. But, but during that time, you weren't peeking Signed. at the numbers or? No, well, I, I kind of was because it was like my, I didn't have a record label. So I had to be, like, I, I just became my own record label for that first month. And I think we sold like 200, thousand before I signed the record deal um, which was awesome because when I signed the record deal they were like okay you know do what you're doing and don't change and here's a box but you don't need to fit inside it and you know you can keep all your baby songs and because I came to the record label with success you know like which is so rare and never happens and it's it's really what I wake up every morning really grateful for the most is that you know I wear what I want to wear I say what I want to say I get tattoos all the time like Nobody has stepped in and said, you know, start being this. And I, I feel like, as weird as that may sound, like that's really rare today. You know, I don't have to fit into a shtick. I don't have one. And it has the fact that you sort of had to hurry up to not lose momentum after, after that show. Has that been an advantage? Yeah. Um, I think it's like a little positive and a little negative. It's, it's like definitely positive for the business and the fact that I didn't slow down, but negative for like my health and like I'm tired and I don't have days off. And, but like I, it's worth it, you know, like what happens when, because I think very easily my whole career could have just plummeted if we weren't right there with a plan. So my family and Atlantic Records and, and my managers, you know, I called them my family, like we just made all the right decisions, but I didn't think of some of this stuff. You know, it's a joint thing. Like everybody really did their best. And the fact that the album did so well my first week in, in the States was like, because it was such a perfect plan, you know? So I feel really just grateful for my team. You know, I just show up and do it, but like everybody is thinking so far ahead and, you know, so it's really just a beautiful combination.